Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saikan and today we're continuing the Two Against the Overlord campaign where Tapcat and I am trying to beat uh, the nasty, nasty Ethereals. Uh, and uh, it is Operation War Shriek. I am invading an alien facility. I have heard that Tapcat wasn't doing so hot on the last mission, so we sort of need to change gears here. We're going to uh, shuck off two blips uh, from the alien uh, avatar project and on top of it we're trying to just really freeze the project for six weeks so that is what's going on. We have Captain Hopguide and his crew, Spectre, Implacable, XU6, Trojan and a Mad Dog here, We're going to give that uh, nice new rifle a spin. Uh, got a little bit uh, ammunition of every uh, different caliber, some anti-mech, some anti-armor, uh, some anti-person. I think we're just going to go a little bit harder on the EMP route because that, I really like it. And we can deal with the other armor quite easily. So yeah, that's really it. Let's jump into it and see how this plays out. Here we go. Good, we are in position. And we're so locked and loaded. Believe me, that facility will not stand another day. Good, I'm hyped today. Unfortunately, no high ground here. So we will need to fight a little bit through the woods here, but that's fine. I suppose we still got our concealment and as long as that does not uh, screw up we should be fine. Getting into position, Mad Dog and XQS6 are taking uh, the secondary positions, tertiary here, Spectre moves in, Brace and we are just going to overwatch with everyone. I am trying the uh, Viper suit on uh, the Marine because my logic is they actually love to not move and the Viper suit offers an opportunity to move and then still shoot twice. In the meantime, first pack is engaged, that's not a problem for us, not yet at least. I guess we also found the second pack. On my way. Moving out. Good, moving a little bit to the other side. And in order to not trigger two packs, um, the path is clear. we're just going to stand over here for now. But apparently the game doesn't want us to trigger just one pack. It needs the looming threat of triggering two. Bracing. You know what, we'll get a full overwatch out of it. Full overwatch trap. Might as well just go full overwatch here. They run into us and we can completely wipe one pack. Okay, well. So much for that strategy. Typically I would charge in, um, kill Bladestorm, but you should know that uh, Bladestorm on, uh, typically doesn't trigger the mutant's counterattack, but there is an exception. Uh, if you are concealed, then it counts as a normal attack and then it triggers just fun fact. Uh, but I think this here is a mutant pyromancer, right? Yep. They don't have counterattack, so we're good. No chance at hiding now. 
There we go. One down. The Puro will get his face kicked in in a second. Yep. Morito. Correct. Well, that was a mistake, buddy. And a costly one. Okay, fun. Fun fact. Um, good, this might be a killer, actually. <laughs> yeah, trigger free action. Uh, yeah, I guess I take it. Uh, we do have a kill into relentlessness. Yeah, good. Well, here's the deal. <laughs> we're getting we're getting a free action out of it. I'm having way too much fun with that. Yeah, all right. Any day now. And shield bearer. Unfortunately, that's a miss. But yeah, I guess we we were doing all right. It destroyed the mutant's cover. And then we were suppressing the shield bearer. Okay, cool. Madoc uh, moves up a bit further forward. Implicable does the same. Uh, I think we're just going to leave the target here. Uh, Madoc is, is taking normal hits. And that might even be a kill. No, but we got lead the target and suppression, so we should be fine. Look at that. Who would have thought we're fighting against the Chosen? Uh, can summon Stun Lancers immune to melee, can return fire, doesn't trigger Overwatch, and is hurt by shell shocked and hate skirmishers. Okay, cool. Yeah. Well, that did not go exactly according to plan, but luckily for us, Hopboy just doesn't take uh, prisoners. The man is on a mission, and that mission is uh, called Carnage. Um, hmm, good question. Moves up here. Spectre takes that position. Moving, out. Moving to here. Trojan takes that position. Overwatch. The Overwatch against the Chosen doesn't matter because she's immune to it. But it matters against other packs. Heard a door. Heard a door. Yep, door was here. Nope, there was a window, okay. Well then there was another door somewhere. Maybe over here, okay. On your order. The two frontliners do exactly what they're supposed to do, which is frontlining. Wait, wait, wait. Why did we reveal her? Oh, because of... Uh, of this position. 
Well, of course of this position, that was all going according to plan. Start hitting her. Nice, nice shredding right there. Moving indeed to a position. Just in case she comes up here, planting a mine. She's likely going to use Harbor Wave anyways. But you never know, right? There, ooh, oh! 16 Shell Shock, that is nasty. 12, we're not giving her a break. Holy shit, she's taking it from all angles. Running and gunning, full cover, and we're triggering, of course. Okay, Gunslinger, well, listen. Gunslinger takes the axe. The reason why I'm not using that on the Chosen is she's melee immune and the axe, although thrown, counts as a melee attack. You learn all of those uh, things over years and years of disappointment. But here's the good news. We just flawless her. That indeed was excellent work, Commander. Gunslinger takes a shot. Good hit, good hit. And whilst we're at it, uh, let's kill this guy. Even if we trigger something else. Okay, well, yeah, no. Okay, in that particular case, I think we're better off in full cover. See you later, alligator. Oh, really? Well, that's indeed some extremely nasty damage. Good, moving forward. Alright, the Crusaders are definitely not here to play, that's for sure. Nice little healing. Okay, got a tower quite far away. Hit the plate. Tower takes massive damage. And then decides to go down. We're parrying. On the move. Moving up. Overwatching. Overwatching. So I can't believe that we're being hit for that, har uh, that high amount of damage.
from the Crusader. That was a massive, massive hit. Okay. We'll do. Moving over here. On the move. Trojan moves out of range. On the move. In the meantime, the rest is really setting up their main parameter here. Reload, reload, overwatch, reload, overwatch, good. Okay, we're just going to overwatch the uh, tower overwatch doesn't really matter to us. We can easily move over. It's just a matter of sniping it down. Yep, lightning reflexes. Well, hello there. Good, XQ6. Gets the tower down. Nicely done. Also gets the cap promotion. Not bad. Okay, time to refocus. Which means brace here, reload overwatch, overwatch, slight movement over here just to fan out a little bit and we're good. I think one or two more packs. We got some high ground over here but we also got high ground up here. Trojan at this point becomes the scout. We're good. Hopbite moves up. I need a couple of aiming angles on the other side. Oh, come on. Game crashed, of course. Good, we're trying that yet again. I just replayed the exact moves. I wanted to go to here. Move to there. Move to here. Okay, pretty sure uh, that the enemies are inside. I would love to get a good jump on uh, onto them. I'm going. The aliens used this to defeat most of us. Oh wow! Okay. <laughs> well, well. Well, uh, what are we going to do here? I think this might be the right uh, opener. Okay, uh, seems legit so far. Did we really just shoot Hawkbite down? Look, from all points of uh, taking damage, this is by far the most ridiculous one that I've uh, had so far. But okay.
Good. We'll deal with him in a second. to explode here there could be another group hiding over here stupid positioning but at the same time this thing really can't do a lot the doors okay before we're doing anything uh, let's continue with our with our complete and utter destruction of uh, the sector pod very nice Superior stock and two Illyrium cores. Not bad. It's interesting that even the crate has disappeared. Wow. Nope. Just didn't uh, connect really. We're going to parry. Interesting position that we find ourselves in. We're first of all planting the C4. We're then continuing to move away. We then continue to teach the purifier a good lesson. Before moving in and really teaching him a lesson. Yeah, and I suppose we can definitely call the Sky Ranger and it's so frustrating to see Hawkbite yet again being the guy who took the damage here. Like, why? Moving to position. Not a problem. I can handle that. End of turn. Yeah, typical reinforcements come in, but we don't need to deal with the reinforcements, really. Good, we know that the remaining charges uh, of the med kit will reduce the healing time. So that's not bad. We had two injured soldiers and uh, they would uh, now have reduced healing time. That, by the way, is from the medic class of the proficiency pack, so it doesn't happen per default. Yeah, what an embarrassment to yet again injure a hawk bite. Overall, I suppose the mission was fine, but oh boy, oh boy, that uh, injury on hawk bite, that's annoying me. Cool, so we're going to take light them up, which allows us to actually shoot twice, uh, which is a great option. 
And then I would like to use Impressive Strength because that allows us to throw Mimic Beacons etc. further. Um, there are a couple of really good options to skill XUSX, uh, such as um, the option to have uh, partial hits on all of our Overwatch uh, shots and to always uh, disorient uh, with the Overwatch shots. So there is a lot uh, that can be done uh, here. Untouchable is great. The zone defense isn't bad either because it allows you to take a lot of uh, shots in near zone. But Untouchable, at least in my perspective, is the better skill. I really like it. I also like the uh, sweep and clear, but we don't have enough points to do that. Almost thinking about impressive strengths here as well. Evasive isn't bad either. And... Um, Throwing a grenade no longer ends your turn. Yeah, but we do have prep for everything. Doesn't even cost an action. I am considering whether this here isn't a bad idea. Yeah, we'll come back to it. We need the XCOM points for other stuff. Lightly wounded, five days. Not quite. Could be worse. Good. There is a Guerrilla Ops. Uh, I think that isn't bad. We could uh, get more resources and count another dark event, so might as well go for it. But before we can do that, uh, there is Operation Dismal Savior. And Dismal Savior requires us to go to Western Europe, respectively, our good friend Tapcat to do that. Um, yeah, we still got a couple of lightly wounded uh, soldiers here. Unfortunately, he also has a couple of heavily wounded soldiers. So uh, he'll make uh, make something happen with uh, basically what we've got. But I think that's good enough. So yeah. Good. I think, to be fair, that's a good cliffhanger for the next episode. We are doing actually quite well. Thanks for watching, as always, and if you enjoyed what you've seen, plant some C4 at the like button and blow it up like it's no man's business. Thank you, and have a good one. Bye-bye.